Number 5. Shifty Shadows Heather and her family were just like us, always sensing those tiny chills in the back of their necks when the house was seemingly empty. But they always brushed it off, thinking that it was just a bit of that good old paranoia. Well, that was until one day when Heather's daughter and her friend accidentally captured something on camera that would change their perspective on the paranormal forever. This is what they caught. This is my daughter and her friend. Please watch closely between them. No one else was up in my home. Look between them right now. Pretty much everyone dived straight into the comments section, warning Heather about shadow people. If you don't know much about them, shadow people are those dark, looming, human-shaped figures that you pray only exist in your nightmares. Often associated with, but not limited to, sleep paralysis syndrome. These mysterious sightings are not known to be harmful, but it doesn't make them any less spine-tingling to witness. Of course, it's possible that the figure was edited in after the video was taken, but with a deep dive onto their other videos, it's pretty clear that they would have no motive to fake this one. There's nothing paranormal about their channel, especially considering that such a perfect sighting would take a whole lot of skill and time to produce. Would they really go through all of that effort? Or is their house truly haunted? Let us know in the comments section. But before we get into the next scary video, a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Fetch Rewards. Fetch offers a brilliant reward system based on how many physical or e-receipts that you scan into the app. Your wallet will thank you because every time you scan a new receipt, you earn points that you can use to redeem gift cards from thousands of your favourite stores. You could get discounts on Hulu, retail stores, or even takeout food for when you're binge watching our scary videos at home. And the best part is, you can shop, scan, and redeem your points all in a matter of seconds with literally any receipt, be it from Amazon, your weekly grocery shop, or your last restaurant date night. Download the free app using the link in the description of this video, and don't forget to use our code, GOOSEPIMPLES, because we are treating you with 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. It's completely free, it's easy to use, it saves you money, and it's another way to support our channel. A huge thank you to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to our spook fest. Number four, Sound the Siren. During his many fishing trips over the years, Source90, an NBMA fisherman, learned pretty well how to identify most sounds coming from the sea. But last year, he began to suspect he was being followed by someone or something. It all started with what sounded like dolphins or whales singing, which is a pretty common sound in a fisherman's life. However, there was something particular about these strange noises, something that would later lead him to a mind-blowing discovery, one that not even an expert from the whaling museum would be able to explain. With that said, first things first, let's start from the beginning. I hear it! I hear him. Where's she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? Where are you? This is crazy. I heard it. I heard it. I hear it. Bet you've missed it, didn't you? Listen again, closely. A soft, feminine voice saying, jump for me, followed by another shrill scream. After hearing that, Source decided to fall into his bunk and try to forget about whatever the hell it was. But that didn't last long, because soon after, things started to get physical and visual. Take a look.
Yo, what is that? What the fuck is that? We got another one, another one over here? What are those? When he runs up to the deck to see what it was banging on the wall outside his bunk, he catches two streamlined figures matching pace with the boat. Understandably, people were pretty suspicious of it, because it truly could have been anything, but Source 90 was quick to debunk a good few comments. You know your boy Source 90 never cares what nobody says because people are entitled to their opinion. Always. I'll never knock a motherfucker for thinking what I'm doing is fake or wrong because that's his opinion. Absolutely. But if you're going to talk about my outriggers, man, make sure you know that the boat I was on, that fifth video, was a different boat. And my outriggers are on the back of my boat, not the front. Peep game. Peep game. Yeah, outrigger. Got two of them located on the stern of the boat. There's the other one right there. And that video was shot from the wheelhouse. So if it couldn't have been the boat equipment making shapes in the ocean, what the hell was it? And from here on out, it just gets more unexplainable. Check out what he found while he was fishing. So I was fishing on this fishing trip, right? And something uh, came up in the dredge. That looks like a tail to me. Looks like a tail of a bone to me. I'm gonna take that bone and go to the local university, which is UMass, go to their marine biology department and find out what the fuck that is. Cause I don't know about you, I'm curious. I got some questions. Look at that. Now surely, there's a reasonable explanation as to what this is. It's a whale's tailbone or something normal, right? Well, that's what we all thought. He contacted the whaling museum to get the bone examined by an expert, but it just led us all to another dead end. So today was the day. I got a call back from the whaling museum and they had an expert there who was willing to talk to me about the bone that I had found. But look at that, man. Look at those big monstrous animals. Look at those bones. That's crazy. He was there taking a whole bunch of photos, measuring the thing, emailing certain other people that he knows who might have other insight on it. Yeah, everybody's saying they never seen nothing like it. Usually the bones that come up are like vertebrae and stuff, but nobody's seen anything like this. Take a photo, Bob. Ask me to take a photo of it. Absolutely. You've never seen anything like this? No. It's crazy. The expert was just as stumped as the rest of us. At this point, people began throwing around all sorts of ideas. Screaming dolphins, ARGs, and the ones that we've been thinking from the start. Not so little mermaids. If we take a quick deep dive, no pun intended, into Greek mythology, mermaids, or sirens, are dangerous creatures who would lure sailors out to sea with their enchanting voices. Portrayed in many works, such as the Physiologus, as beautiful women with fishtails, or as disturbing humanoid figures with razor-sharp teeth. And as we tread further into the domain of mythology, the more Source's videos seem to check out. Distant screams, soft voices asking him to jump, weird streamlined figures swimming along the boat, and a mystery tailbone, too small for a whale, but too big for most fishes in the area. It all seems a little too good. One could argue that the screams are added into the footage during editing. However, they also happen during his live streams. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, that shit was instantaneous, bro. Oh, I gotta watch my step out here, man. God damn. Wait, 
no, now it's there. Can't hear it. Oh, that one, that one echoed a lot. That one echoed from the other side of the damn boat. That one came from over here. Can you sing for me? Give me something. Give me a face. Give me a tail. Let me know I'm not crazy. It's the same freaking pitch, same sound and everything. Like. And the cherry on top of this cake. After his videos went viral, the government rocked up, toasting a whole laboratory with them. You're gonna be out here doing testing. Testing what? What the fuck are you guys testing? That's what I want to know. We all know Source 90 has heard certain things out in the ocean, and then my TikTok gets banned, and then the government shows up my boat. It's too many fucking coincidences. The logo on the side of the lab checks out as legit. The University National Oceanographic Laboratory System is an established organisation that researches the ocean and sea life. But why did they hop on Source's boat out of the blue? Commenters were pretty suspicious, saying that they could be tracking the boat, trying to find the supposed siren, or planning to silence him, especially considering there were so many coincidences leading up to this. The screaming, the figures, the museum debacle, his TikTok account getting banned, and then the government steps in? Could the government be after whatever source is found in the ocean? Or are they after him for knowing too much? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Number three, falling down. If you've ever worked at a shop or a marketplace, you probably know the disdain you feel when the stacked totes come toppling to the ground. But have you ever stopped to wonder how exactly they fell in the first place? At first, you can just put this down to unbalanced weight finally falling over, but take a look at the chain dangling just above the table. Why is it swaying when the other ones are dead still? And what about the way that yellow box was yanked? Surely, a strong drought would have toppled some of the other boxes too, right? What do you think? Just the wind? Or a ghostly presence trying to hit the dude and failing miserably? Let us know. Number two, Shadow Man. Shout out to our Discord member, Shadows, for drawing our attention to these clips. TikTok user, Our Haunted House, began feeling a pit of dread in his stomach every time he walked into his living room. It all started with picture frames falling down and wooden stools topple into the ground, seemingly on their own. And then his plants slowly began to die one by one, which he attributes to the fondly nicknamed Shadow Man. But soon, the activity ramped up and got even more unexplainable when he began catching footage on his door cam. Lights started flickering right in front of him, and after racking their brains for ages about why their family seemed to be plagued by these spooky happenings, they came to the conclusion that it could all be down to a fateful night visiting the catacombs in Paris a few years back. Now if you know anything about the catacombs, you know it's like a playground for spirits, as it's home to over 6 million dead bodies. Rumours of rituals and sacrifices happening in those hidden alleyways underneath Paris do beg the idea that something could easily latch onto visitors. And the more these guys film, the more we might be rethinking that spooky holiday tour. And the dog just started fucking barking for no fucking reason. Let's see. 
Holy shit, there's somebody out there. Right after we see the dog going crazy, he walks to the front of the house. Look closely on the left of the screen, right before he opens the door to check who's there. There is a clear outline of a figure leering just outside the house. Now, this could well have been a friend standing outside and then quickly running away, but how did the figure disappear so quickly? It's pretty hard to spot a jump cut when he pans the camera, so what's going on? And this isn't the only time that the Shadow Man has shown himself either. Check out this scary video. Fair enough, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that show you how to accomplish the lights out effect, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this one is fake, right? While we weren't really there to prove it, we can analyse it further so you don't have to. Look closely at the folds in the curtain, they abruptly change pattern when we compare the start of the video with the end. The lights going on and off give us the impression that the video was all recorded in just a few seconds, but would that be enough time for someone to touch the curtains? Or did someone just move the curtains in between jump cuts? We'll leave it up to you to decide, but whether these videos are real or fake, they're still pretty creepy. Once again, a huge shout out to our Discord member Shadows for requesting our analysis of these scary videos. Number 1. Mystery Machine there have been a few stories written about vehicles seemingly possessed by something beyond the grave. But as it turns out, those stories aren't just from the twisted mind of Stephen King. In this clip, a vehicle seems to grow a mind of its own. Some commenters seem to believe that the vehicle just wasn't locked up properly and simply rolled away with the force of gravity. But take a look at the way it pulls out of the driveway. It turns, as if with a route in mind, but there's nobody behind the steering wheel. Whether or not this is a video detailing the dangers of forgetting to pull the clutch while parking, we don't know. But it is certain that if you saw that vehicle barreling towards you, you would be more than terrified. Don't click off just yet though, because today we bring you a disturbing dose of bonus content. Bonus. No clip. If you thought glitches in the Matrix were just in the movies, think again. Because this incredible moment caught on camera will have you second guessing everything you walk past. Surprisingly, this isn't footage from a glitchy PlayStation 2 game, it's real-life camera footage. No idea how anybody could edit this so smoothly, but if you have any idea, let us know in the comments. Hey, where are you going? Here's another creepy compilation to really leave you quivering tonight. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.